Hi everyone, welcome back to the Angular 10 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about template driven forms. Template driven forms are simple forms which can be used to develop forms. These are called template driven as everything that we are going to use in the application is defined in the template that we are defining along with the component. So let's see how we can create template driven forms in Angular 10. So first of all, we need to import the form module, uh, forms module into the application. Uh, so switch to the project and uh, just open app.module.ts file and here just import forms module. Okay, so right here import uh, forms module. All right, from at the rate angular uh, forms. Okay, this one at the rate angular slash forms. Now inside this uh, imports array, just add this uh, form module, forms module. So just copy and add here the comma and just paste. Uh, not inside this declaration this imports area okay all right inside this area imports area now save this file and just close it now let's create a new component okay so switch to the command prompt and here just type command for creating new component which is ng space g space C and directory name which is components so just write here components forward slash component name okay let's say component name is the register all right now press enter okay uh, register has uh, component has been created now switch to the project and inside this project just open uh, just go inside register component and from here just open register.component.html file all right now just uh, delete this and here just add the form okay so first of all add the container then row and then column so just write here dot call uh, md let's say six and also add the offset so just write here offset md three all right let's tab now here just add the form so just write here form and inside this form uh, just here add the title let's say it's to class just add here text center text dash center and inside this is to just write here the registration form all right now Add here the form group, so just write here form dash group, and inside this, just write here input type text class form control and uh, holder that's a first name. All right. And add here the name, which is first name. All right. Okay. Now just copy, just copy this and paste here in the placeholder. Last name. Also change the name here. So just write here the last name. All right now add the field for email so 
copy once again and paste here input type email and placeholder email and also change the name here email all right now uh, add for the password field okay so just copy this one and paste here and just one more time and here just add the phone and name phone and this is for password so just write here type password plus order password all right and name also password all right this is the first name last name email password and phone now uh, let's create a submit button so here just uh, add the class text center and inside this just create a submit button button type is equal to submit and the class btn btn primary all right and inside this just add the text register okay now add the css for this form so just go inside the register.component.cs file css file and here like a simple css for form so just write here form uh, border radius with the 5 pixel background background color uh, has 00 c uh, c f f f okay this color now add the padding here so just write here padding 20 pixel all right now save this file now just uh, go to the app dash routing dot module ts file and here first of all import the component register component so just write here import uh, register component from path of the components so just write here component slash the register slash register dot component all right now add the route here so in last here just add the comma and in curly bracket add the path here let's say path is the register All right, and component name is register component. All right, now save this file. Now uh, add link to the never. So just uh, open the app dot component dot html file, and here just copy this li and paste here now change here the router link which is the register and text register all right now save this file and now let's check it so switch to the browser and here you can see the register link just click on it and you can see here the registration form okay first name field last name email password and uh, this phone number field and also submit button okay now just to go to the register.component.ts file so switch to the project and just open inside the register just open register.component.ts file okay and here first of all import the ng form so just write here import 
intensive form capital A and small g and g form form at the rate angular forms okay now here just create a function all right a register this is the function and uh, inside this function add a parameter uh, rz form colon ng form right and inside this form uh, let's print on console so just write here console.log and uh, simply print here the reg register form dot value all right and inside the uh, register.complaint.html uh, file here just add just add the reference variable so just write here as res form and uh, inside this input text field just add here ng model okay now copy this and paste here also paste here inside the password input field and also for the phone input field okay now uh, this registration function just let's bind this with a form okay so just copy this register function and here just bind with ng submit okay so just write here in parenthesis uh, ng submit is equal to function name which is register and just pass here this reference variable okay all right now save this file now let's check it so switch to the browser and uh, here just uh, show the console so inspect element click on console all right and here let's add first name let's uh, mark last name john and let's say email amazon at the rate gmail.com all right now add the password let's say one two three four five six seven eight nine one number this all right now click on register and here undefined okay let's check so switch to the project and uh, what is the problem mm, just open app.com.html and here so inside this register dot component dot html file okay here just add uh, ng form all right now save this file and let's check again so switch to the browser and here just add the first name the last name email so just type here and down at the rate of email.com and password let's say this and phone number this one all right now click on submit register and you can see here the object 
email first name last name password and phone number okay now let's display the submitted data uh, here so just go inside the register.html file and here after this form just add the br tag and here just add h3 tag and write uh, submitted data all right and here just write inside the p tag let's say first name and inside double curly bracket just write here uh, first of all create a property here so the property is data and now just write here this dot data is equal to this one register uh, register uh, res form dot value all right now save this and here just write data dot first name okay now just copy this and paste here all right now change here the last name email and this one is password and phone okay also change here last name email okay. email password and here phone all right now save this file and let's check it so switch to the browser and now enter the first name let's say mark last name john email mthon at gmail.com password this and phone number let's say this all right now click on sub register and you can see here submitted record first name last name email password and phone number all right so in this way you can create template driven form in angular 2 so that's all about angular 10 template driven form so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching